Peter, I was at the park with Stewie, and someone stole his tricycle. And during, like, the one second, I was looking down at my phone and not at him. Stupid thief. It's got a vanity plate that won't even apply to him. Hey, you like your reggae watered down and acceptable at a wedding? Hop on. Ugh, can't believe somebody stole Stewie's trike. I only had nine payments left on that thing. How much do you make? Don't worry, Lois. I'm gonna find that tricycle. I'll just have four to five beers to stop the shaking, and then I'll go outside. Huh. Never seen that kid around the neighborhood. Maybe he's got something to do with it. Hey, kid. You know anything about a tricycle that just got stolen from the park? No, sir. I've been sitting here for the last three hours selling lemonade. Would you like a nice cold glass? Why, sure. You couldn't have been here for three hours on this, the hottest day of the year, or the ice cubes in your pitcher would have melted. Oh. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say Peter, to... Peter, Peter, we can't arrest them. If anything, they can arrest you. Hey, here's the tricycle. You were right, Peter. This kid's a thief. We did it. Well, look at us. You know, we make a great team, guys, like Huey Lewis and the Jews. You don't need money. I'm sorry, the band's breaking up. Here you go, Stewie. Don't bother sniffing the seat. It don't smell like nothing. Oh, yeah, my trike. I'm kind of over that thing. Now I'm way into wooden beads you move along wires. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Boy, when you find a baby's tricycle, it feels like there's nothing you can't do. Man, I wish we could quit our jobs and solve children's crimes full time. I heard you guys are good at solving cases. I'll give you 50 cents to find my lucky baseball card. Guys? We're in business! Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, wait a minute. I didn't notice you have a pierced ear. We can't help you. You go home and tell your mother she's supposed to be a parent, not a friend. All right, guys, this will be the headquarters for our new detective agency. This milk crate will be my chair, this overturned rain barrel will be my desk, and this DNA evidence centrifuge and fingerprint scanner will be my coat rack. Piece of junk. I guess all our detective agency needs now is a name. Well, we're detectives solving children's crimes. There's only one name that makes sense. Dicks for kids? Dicks for kids. But wait, we want people to know we're grown-ups. Okay, big dicks for kids. Oh, we don't want to sound too old. They're gonna think we're a bunch of old bald geezers. Big hairy dicks for kids. How are we gonna let them know we're veiny? So you say this gumball machine took your dime and didn't give you a gumball? That's right. Well, I'll take care of that. Hand over the dime, buddy. Come on, hand it over. Don't make this hard on yourself. Wait a minute. This gumball machine takes quarters, not dimes. Holy crap, it's a setup. Time to make a quick getaway. You were set up too, huh? Yeah. You realize that kid is plowing both our wives right now. So, what do we got today, boys? Well, it seems like we got a bit of a crime spree. Just this morning, we've had multiple reports of stolen items. A couple marbles, a ball of yarn, two wiffle ball bats. Someday, a rain will come and wash all this scum off the streets. Guys, I think I got a lead on all these thefts. One of the kids had a nanny cam hidden in his room. Come on, let's do it on your son's tiny bed. Hurry, he gets home at three. Okay, it's later than this. Yeah, yeah, fast forward ahead. Forward, forward, keep forwarding. Is that woman gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. We're having brunch after this. God, I look huge in that bed, don't I? You think other guys hang out and watch their friends naked, gyrating butt? It's been so long, I don't know what other friends do. Forwarding, 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 and there we go! Our thief! <gasps> Chris Gaines was Garth Brooks. I just figured that out. Oh, my God! Chris stole all that stuff! No way! He wouldn't do that! Peter, Chris is on the tape! We gotta search his bedroom. Fine, go ahead. But I'm telling you, it's gonna be a bigger waste of time than writing tough guy dialogue for a Jet Li movie. This is your last warning. Give me back my wife. What? Excuse me? Give me back my wife, or you're in a lot of trouble. I'll kick all your faces. You got me? You're kind of undoing everything you just did when you kicked my ass. I know, but I have to say for audience.
Chris still has an Aaron Hernandez poster up? That's not cool. See, there's nothing here. Just a weird life-size lady doll made out of all the stuff that got stolen. No! Don't hurt Heather! Don't hurt my girlfriend! What the hell? Chris made a sex doll? Your kids got a walk-in closet? Two of mine got to sleep in the car. Chris is still in his room with that disgusting homemade sex doll. He actually thinks it's his girlfriend. I know, it's weird. It's even weirder than that secret level in Donkey Kong. Maybe it's our fault Chris has such a screwed up idea about what a relationship is. I mean, let's be honest, we're not exactly the model of a healthy marriage. Oh boy, is this because of the time I pushed off of you after sex and bruised your boob? No, I, I mean, when was the last time you bought me flowers? Or, or we had a date night? We do stuff. D just last week, I let you watch me complain after eating too many hot wings. Oh, why did you let me do this, Lois? Why? Okay, Peter, I gotta take the kids to school now. Hey, Chris, your mother wanted me to talk to you. Um, she doesn't think it's healthy for you to be spending all your time with a homemade sex doll. Sex doll? I wish Heather hasn't even let me get to second base. Wait, hang on. What, what's second base? Is that touching one of the cabbages? Yeah. Oh, but I'm such a loser. She'll never let me do that. Come on, Chris. Don't sell yourself short. You are every bit as good as that bag of garbage. You really think so? Sure I do. And look, if you really want to learn how to bang that thing, there's no better teacher than your old dad. After all, I'm the guy who taught old Asian people how to get on the subway. Ah! Out of the way! Nobody else matters! All right, you made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face mole. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chris, now women really dig those fireman calendars. So we're gonna go inside and get some sexy shots of you doing fireman stuff. Look, Heather, the truth is, I don't care if we never take it to the next level, physically. I just really like spending time with you. <laughs> wow, I am going to have to write to somebody about this. Dear Penthouse, I used to think these letters were fake until my taped-together, soccer-ball-headed girlfriend fell in my lap. Hey, do we still have a magazine? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I think Heather will be eating breakfast standing up this morning, if you know what I mean. Peter, I thought you were going to take care of this. You were supposed to make Chris get rid of that doll. I did take care of it. He slept with it, and now he'll slowly grow to hate it over the next 20 years. This is all your fault. You never listen to anything I say. Look, you told me to talk to him. I talked to him. And now you're nagging me about it? God, you're more annoying than a creative voicemail message. <laughs> 